What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to fix the disk write error on a Steam client. First, make sure Steam isn't running in the background. In your Start menu, search for Task Manager and press Enter. In your Task Manager, scroll through the list of processes to find anything related to Steam. Once you find it, right-click on it and select End Task. Next, go to the Details tab in your Task Manager and repeat the process. Right-click on any process with Steam in its name, right-click it and select End Process to terminate it. Once you've closed all Steam processes, go back to the Start menu, type Steam and right-click on a Steam application. Select Run as Administrator and click Yes when prompted. Running Steam as an admin ensures it has the necessary permissions to read and write your data properly on your PC. Now, open your Steam library and locate the game that's causing the disk write error. Right-click on a game, select Properties and then click on the Installed Files tab. Here, select Verify Integrity of Game Files. This will check for any corrupted or missing game files and repair them automatically. While the verification process runs, let's move on to another step. In Steam, click on the Steam option in the top left corner and select Settings. Navigate to the Download section. Here, ensure your download region is set to the location closest to where you live. This helps improve download reliability. Scroll down and click on Clear Download Cache and then confirm your action. Once this is done, restart Steam and check if the problem is resolved. If the issue persists after completing these steps, you may need to reinstall Steam. In your Start menu, search for Add or Remove Programs. In the Settings window, scroll down until you find Steam. Click on the three dots next to it and select Uninstall. Follow the prompts to completely remove Steam from your system. After uninstalling, visit the official Steam website to download and reinstall the application. Once reinstalled, restart your computer and the issue should be resolved. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.